Hello, 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 family and friends, wherever you are in the world. I'm just in my office at this moment, a little bit late in the night, trying to get ready for this coming Sabbath, first uh, sermon of the year, as we uh, roll out here at the Fondra, this, uh, this theme we got for the year, Godly Impact. And I'm just thinking about it, wherever you are, Happy New Year. I hope you are serious about the business of living and you want to be a better version of yourself, the best version of yourself. I was just reading as I was preparing, I stumbled on this thing that I thought was powerful, uh, the parable of the pencil, the parable of the pencil. Uh, there are lessons I discovered, uh, five lessons, which it is really amazing that the manufacturer of the pencil, it is said that whenever he made a pencil, he spoke five things to the pencil, uh, is the parable of the pencil. These are the lessons I want to share with us uh, as we get into 2023. Lessons from the parable of the pencil. The manufacturer of the pencil, whenever he made a pencil, he spoke five things to the pencil. And I just want to share this with you. I just discovered this as I'm getting ready, preparing for this first sermon of the year. It is a game changer sermon that I'm really believing that God is going to do amazing stuff with it. Uh, the, the manufacturer of the pencil would say these five things to each pencil that he made. The first thing he would say is that, you know, he would say to the pencil, you will do great things in your life only if you allow yourself to be placed in someone else's hands. Listen to me. You will do great things in your life only if you allow yourself to be placed in someone else's hands. And the second thing the manufacturer of the pencil would say to the pencil was from time to time, telling the pencil from time to time, you have to go through some painful sharpenings, but they will make you a better pencil. And the third principle that he used to tell his pencils after manufacturing them was, know that you will be able to erase any mistakes you make. This is what he will tell the pencil. Pencil, uh, you know that you'll be able to erase any mistakes you make. And number four, he would look at a pencil that he had manufactured and he would say the most important part of you is on the inside. And the last out a lesson from the parable of the pencil is that the manufacturer of the pencil will look at a pencil and say to the pencil, you must leave a mark on every surface. My friend, as you get into 2023, May we learn something from the parable of the pencil. I want you to understand that if you apply yourself, you will leave a mark on every surface you touch this year. And I want you to never forget that the most important part of you is on the inside. May the Lord work with us and um, establish the inner part of ourselves. And just as the parable of the pencil, lesson number three years, know that you will be able to erase any mistakes you make. I want to challenge you. I want you to understand that in this year, it's brand new, it's new. New and brand new attitude and mindset will bring about brand new results. So may you be blessed in 2023. I'm just here in the office wrapping up some things, excited about this coming weekend. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know wherever you are in the world, if you need a church to grow in. In 2023, I challenge you. I'm inviting you. I would like to pastor you uh, through this virtual space. Uh, please like our page, Fondren SDA Church, uh, or our YouTube channel, Fondren SDA Church. I would love for us to grow together in 2023. We, it's time to go there. It's time to do that because nothing changes if nothing changes. Listen, nothing changes if nothing changes. And I want to challenge my prayerful friends out there that you need to understand that prayer will never replace process. We need to do what we must do in 2023 so that we can accomplish what God wants us to do. But remember, 
the parable of the pencil. Blessings on you. Um, trust yourself this year. Uh, develop your mind this year. Um, go beyond where you've been this year. Apply yourself. Uh, enjoy figuring things out this year. Just enjoy figuring things out. Don't be afraid of anything. Enjoy the process of figuring things out. My friend, I'm available this year. And I, many of you who are out there, I need you for my growth this year. I just want to make my impact. I just want to leave a mark on every surface with your help. I believe that God is going to do great things. Be an effective human being in 2023. Those of you who believe and are believers, be an effective believer this year. Look forward into it and be the best version of yourselves. Blessings on you, my friends. I'm just in the office working on some things, excited about this year. Um, it's an amazing thing. I, I'm starting a series tomorrow night uh, during our midweek service. Uh, we are going to be dealing with um, necessary losses for impact. Necessary losses for impact. And every Saturday or Sabbath, we'll be speaking on necessary gains for impact. So come on in. Let's grow together. I am ready for 2023. This is my year. This is it. We got to go where our ministry has never been because God is counting on us. And humanity is expecting something from you. And God is going to use you mightily. You better believe it. Trust yourself this year. Just learn to trust yourself. You know, just learn to trust yourself. Uh, learn to, to be in a space where you really do believe that God can use you. And God can do great things through you. That's, that's my prayer. That's one of my pillars this year. I believe that nothing changes if nothing changes. This year, God has to do more than I believe he will. And I'm expecting greater for you as well. So let's pray together. Let's grow together. Uh, let's check on each other. Uh, if you find something great, please bring it over. Let's grow together. It's time to do it. God is counting on us. Blessings on you, my friends.